Okay, so section three of a large arm build frame, first one. This has got most of the changes really that happened when my teacher went over to China last time. Mainly in the middle section, just after the double kick, if you know the section already to some extent. If not, it will be new, so that's okay. And again, lots of movements, lots of principles are exactly the same as every other section. So it's just building on what you've done already. So first off, single whip. So plow hands always starts with turning, hand comes under, and then wave the right. And then foot turns, body follows, arm opens. Get a sense of just moving something out of the way, brushing away with the arm. And then you're going to move this way, stepping in, big plums. Then you change your mind. So I've done the first bit, then step back and separating. So you get a sense of pulling the arms apart, almost like an elastic band, pulling apart. And then from there, open, turn your foot in, elbow comes back, sweep the left leg behind. So drawing in, now facing the corner, same direction that my foot was in before. So hand comes in, foot sweeps around, pushing out. So high pat on the horse. And from there, ward off, roll back. So ward off, a sense of drawing out this side, and then rolling back. Gathering under to the left. Left arm and leg come over. And then how far down he goes up to you? Hands lift up. And then arms come over the top, foot comes up. Cross hands on the other side. So I'm making the space. And again, draw down. Arms go over the top, foot comes up. And then step behind, roll him back. So I'm going to turn this foot in. Sit back, rolling back. Now one bit that's changed a little bit. Step to the right as your arms open. Left heel kick. But first, we're wrapping crackers a bit. So, little turn to the right. Pick up, and then as you turn left, separate. Normally, just a little bit of farging. So, draw up, and then... <coughs> and then pick up fists. And then kick and hit at the same time. <coughs> And then two diagonal steps. So get a sense of pushing. And we're pushing just slightly off to the side, like you're trying to get round something. Turn your foot as you hold down. Close up. So close in the space. And then step. And again, pushing just slightly off as if something's in your way, you're just moving it out of the way. And then, if in doubt, you'll double dragon. So turn your foot and then close up. You're moving something out of the way. And then from there, take a step, keep the weight back. Starts off like foam manoeuvre, so coming round. But this time, both hands make fists. So this fist is going to pick up, this fist is going to push down. So push with the back foot, pick up with the left arm, make it nice and long, punching down, round about knee height. So but keep the back nice and long. What you don't want to do is sort of come down here, or have your hand up here somewhere, and just draw up and out with one hand, drop down with the other. And then from there, foot comes back slightly, turn your foot in slightly, and then as your arm goes down your leg, turn, elbow over your shoulder. So ideally it's <coughs> separating apart. And then from there, spring over the top. So elbow, spring over, sit back, round the side. So in the right empty stance, right leg empty. From there, the double kick. So if you do it as two separate kicks, going one, and two, or what we do it as one kick where the front of the lifts up first is the main thing is you get your root back after. And then we're pulling to the left. So take a step, and make this pull to the left, and then from there, break over the knee. And from there, throw. So imagine something there through my garden cane, throwing the cane out of the way while you throw the arms to the left. So rounds, and then. <coughs> So we're going to get your root back, and then the yoga ball, big ball here, weight on this side, turn to the right, and then shift the weight across, turn your waist so the yoga ball's over to the left, but make sure your elbow doesn't go past your leg, on either side. And then fist protecting the heart, draw the fist in, and then from that, bit again that's changed slightly, ward off, 
So get a sense of making a space, and then roll back. And then press. And then grasp your knee, but on the right. So normally it's over this side, it's on the right. So little fingers lead, drawing in. Draw your foot in, that gives you an opportunity to turn your foot, holding down, crossing the wrists. And then from there, tornado kick. So we're going to turn to the right, arms are going to separate, and then your elbow is going to come back. So open, arms separate, foot comes round, turn, elbow, follows. Then from here, right heel kick. So again, draw the foot in, what are you going to kick with? Make fists, body turns a little bit to the right. As your body turns left, again, unwrapping the crackers. Down from there, pick up, cross fists, and then hit and kick at the same time. So, and then turn, and then foot go down. Then feet are close, on the diagonal line, hands are crossed. Step left, weight left, going into another hit and punch. Weight right, drawing in. Right foot pushes and foot and punch. And from there, tiger walking into cage. So again, start from here, turning over to the right, let the elbow follow. So don't think of this as a hit, think of it as pulling and turning, like you're twisting, like twisting a towel. Twist it, pull it back. Left hand's coming across. And then from there, heel goes down. So it's not a step, it's more of a kick. So kicking. And comes through the middle. So you move something out of the way and slide through to cling position, sort of. And then your hand's going to turn. Imagine something's here, you're just going to move it out of the way, making a space. Then you're going to step six four stance, so 60% there, 40% there. As your body turns, that sends the arm out. That's Again, elbow roughly in line with your leg. And then from there, roll back. High. Then to the four corners now, so we're going to go this way first, take a step, and then forwards and push. If you want to, you can bring your back foot in, or you can keep it to push you forwards. Then we're going to go this way. So, weight comes back, top hand stays where it is, your body turns, turn your back foot in, look at the direction you're going to go, draw your foot in, and then step the direction you want to go. Both feet are facing the wrong way, so both feet have to turn. Lift the arm up, push the left arm through. That's a long one. Now it's a short one going this way. Arm swings under. Again, the top hand's looking already the direction it's going to go. Foot comes in, and then step. And again, bottom arm lifts up to make a space. Other hand reaches into it. Again, if you want to, you can bring your back foot in, give it a bit of oomph. Then we're going to go a long one again, round with the right shoulder. So weight back, turn your foot in. And top hand stays where it is. Look the direction you're going to go. Foot comes in. Step. And again, both feet are facing the wrong way, so turn your feet. Bottom arm lifts up. The hand's pushing into a space. That's a four corner, that really from the Yang style. And then roll back. Hands coming up and in. And then step in, direction your right foot's facing. Step. And push. Again, your arms long, but not locked. And rolling the ball again, so turn a little bit to the right as your right arm goes under, a little bit left as your left arm goes under. Make your whip. So again, lifting up. Then I'm going to go this way again, back into single whip to finish this action. So step. One. Two. Three. And seven. And that's the end of the long sections, pretty much. So, end of the third section. Hope that was useful. I'm going to go through it uh, normal speed now. There's a car horn in the distance. I hope you can't hear it. It hurts like somebody's got it stuck on. Anyway, I'll keep going and just hope you can't hear that when I play that back. So, start off. I'm just going to go normal speed, not really saying much more than the nasal movements. So, single whip. Cloud hands. Cloud hands one. Three. Turning, step into big plums and then separate. 
my hat, sit back, sweep the light, push, water, roll back, separate, right foot, sink, sink, separate, left foot, roll back, little step right, wrap crackers, pick up fists, and then kick, diagonal walking, one, two, and then if in doubt, double dragon, and punch to the ground. Move around. Move the foot and then elbow. <coughs> Sit back and then double kick. Pull to the left. Break over the knee. <coughs> Step <coughs> and throw. Yoga ball to the right. Shift away. Yoga ball left. Just protecting the heart. Squeezing up. Ward off. Roll back. Press. Grasp in knee, lift the foot, turn your foot, and then tornado kick. Okay. Step left to make space. Unwrap crackers or cheese strings. Pick up, right heel kick. Turn, chop, onto the diagonal. Hit a bunch, and then tiger walking into cave. One. Step in, jump, turn, six floor snaps, chop, roll back, and first corner, <coughs> second corner, <coughs> third corner, <coughs> last corner, <coughs> roll back, step in and push, rolling ball to the right, to the left, Boom. Single way. That's it. Hope you all followed it fine. If not, rewind, go through it again.